This is one more quick little example of a 2D optimization problem here with uh, NX, uh, NX optimization and, and product template studio. So in this particular problem here, we got an, an aiming problem. <laughs> so we've got a little turret down here at the bottom, a cartoony turret here that of course has a, a this, this turret that, that swings around in the azimuth direction. Uh, there's a tip on that that can swing up in an elevation direction. So we have an azimuth expression and an elevation expression. Now if we look at the expressions in this part there, you can, you can see those, that azimuth and, and elevation. And we've got a measurement in here that's a measurement between this point out in space that's our target out here, and, uh, and this line that is, uh, is our, our aiming line, right? And so this particular one uh, is a laser aiming as opposed to uh, artillery aiming. This is going to stay in a straight line. And, uh, and so a real simple example here, right, that's going to take that measurement between the point and the line. It's going to minimize that, uh, drive that towards zero. And, uh, and so uh, that, that's where we're headed. Um, so with this, uh, we could go in there, of course, in the expressions and, and start to manipulate the azimuth and the elevation manually to, to get where we want to go. Uh, we've got this amplified a little bit here, this, this off-axis here. You do it, do it one, or one way or the other. There's a convergence tolerance inside optimization that we can crank down really small. Uh, the same effect here, we're taking that, that measurement and, and multiplying it by a thousand just to, to get the absolute convergence a little, a little bigger, bigger on this, get it a little tighter, uh, on there. Approach that either way. And so let's jump in and, and take a look at the optimization here. So this particular one is, as you would expect, we've got, um, uh, our objective here is that, that amplified distance here. We're going to drive that to zero. We want to converge there on, uh, uh, lining up the, the, the distance here to zero between the point and the line, right? Variables on this are that azimuth and elevation. Put in uh, negative 175 to 180. This goes almost all the way around, right? There's a little dead spot in the back just for fun. Elevation, similarly, it's going to start at zero, which is this position, I believe, and, and then go all the way to vertical. So we've got almost the, the entire design space uh, identified there, or the, the sphere around this, this turret uh, defined with that. And uh, this is a nice kind of monotonic problem. This is easy, so we'll use the Powell algorithm here to uh, to walk in. And and this example here, as we run this here, it's going to wiggle for just a second and and line up. This is a real fast problem, right? <laughs> but uh, got those two uh, those two uh, design variables. We'll see our results here, and and then uh, you see, of course, that that uh, that distance. This is amplified by a thousand, so this is you know very small actually <laughs> in this in this point here. Um, Sometimes we, if you want to, we can run this a second time. It'll use both uh, an absolute exit criteria and a relative exit criteria. Uh, so if you, if the variation, initial variation is really large compared to the, 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 uh, uh, the answer, um, it, it'll converge sometimes with the relative first. That's what it's done here. We can start it here close to the answer, run it one more time. It'll actually converge much tighter uh, because of the, uh, the better starting point here. So yeah. So this again is amplified. This this answer actually is three more decimal places out, right? So this is very very close, very well aligned with the point there. Okay. Now, if we don't want to mess with all of those, right? We don't want to mess with the the expressions directly. We don't want to need to go to the optimization study and understand how that works. Um, the product template studio, of course, is going to let us wrap a UI around this model, right? And this, of course, is a simple little example just to, to, to illustrate a couple of principles here. But this may be one of your mechanical assemblies here. And, and the variables, you may want to describe those in a meaningful way. And again, encapsulate some of that functionality, narrow that down to a, just a, just a one click, a kind of operation for your users. Um, so in this particular case here, yeah, there's that, that distance off axis that's, that's very, very close at the moment. Um, I've added a control here really to control the target height rather than playing with the azimuth and elevation directly. I don't really need to manipulate them directly. I can, uh, I can do a target height here, change the target height and, uh, and say I want to aim at that new target, right? And that can wiggle around and, and find that new target uh, quite easily. Crank that up higher, for instance, there's another new target and uh, you can go wiggle and, and find that new target there. I've added a reset down here just for fun. This one has a little journal that behind the button that actually just goes and sets azimuth and elevation back to zero. So that'll poke, uh, that'll jump down to this guy, right? You can record and play back that journal, hook that onto a button. That's very straightforward. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the long and short of this one, right? Choose a new, uh, choose a new location, poke, poke an aim and, and, uh, 
walk it into the answer there very, very, uh, very precisely. Okay. Hope that's useful to you.